what is happening ladies and gentlemen my name is Ty behind the camera and sitting in front of us is the new 2024 Cadillac XT4 and we have a nice premium luxury trimmable to look at today with some pretty nice optional extras so we're a pretty good looking car to take a look at all the features now speaking of the features we're going to start out on the exterior we're going to take a look around it we'll then pop the hood and detail the powertrain and then we'll take a look at the trunk, see how much room we have back there. And finally, we'll get into the interior, starting with the rear seats and making our way to forwards towards the front seats. We're going to want to make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to strap this GoPro to my head. And we're going to take this um, X-T4 for a test drive. But first things first, let's go over all the features on the front of the vehicle. And that includes starting off on the lighting quite a bit of a different fascia for the restyled xt4 and that one of the big ones is the lighting very cool looking lighting element for this car we have kind of cascading daytime running lights and the turn signals up top and also the um, high and low beams are right down bottom and everything is all led powered so that looks pretty neat there you kind of have this painted section of it right in the middle of the headlights now the grille has a nice combination of uh, kind of bright work and um, darker uh, black accents. And then we have some more gloss black down towards the bottom. So pretty nice looking car. Taking a look up at the hood, we have some pretty interesting creases going down into the grille. And lots of cladding going around the wheels and down the bottom to protect your paint from road trips. Now you have some pretty good looking 20 inch wheels that are actually optional on this car. So it looks very nice um, with this kind of machined finish to the face and uh, kind of painted gray pockets there too. And the tires measure up at 245.45. We have the Cadillac crest on the fender there and lots of bright work surrounding the windows. And even on the roof rails, we have the panoramic sunroof up top and the shark fin antenna. Our mirrors have an LED turn signal indicator and we also have blind spot warning on them as well. And if we walk backwards to the door handles, they're actually lit up at night. So we have a nice LED light that illuminates um, at night. And we also have the smart key entry too. So you just press the button there to lock and unlock the doors. And the rear handle has that as well. So all four handles couple of optional extras on this car. The panoramic sunroof is an option. We have $1,225 for the optional beautiful um, radiant red tint coat paint. So take a look at that. Lots of metallic in the sun. Beautiful color. We also have the wheels again which are optional. We have the comfort and convenience package. Also the cold weather package. And that brings us to a total sticker price of this particular vehicle at $50,765. We have a nice spoiler up top and also a hidden wiper so that gives it a nice clean appearance back here and full led lights for the rear too so we have our turn signals tail lights and brake lights are all led looks good all illuminated we have rear parking sensors on this car the reversing camera right underneath the cadillac emblem and also a trunk release there too and some pretty nicely chrome accented exhaust tips back here and interestingly enough, we have one single reverse light, and that is right here in the center. In case you're wondering what the 350T badge is, that is actually the amount of torque that this car has in Newton meters. So you can always kind of find out what kind of engine that the Cadillacs have by that little badge there. But the Cadillac XT4 is does have some new styling for 2024. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments. Popping the hood on the XT4 reveals one engine choice, and I think it's rather adequate since it's a two liter turbocharged inline four and it gets 235 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque, so plenty of power for a vehicle of this size. And you can choose between front wheel drive or all wheel drive regardless of trim level and everything will come hooked up to a nine speed automatic transmission. And it looks pretty tidy under the hood too. You can see that there is lots of sound deadening to keep the unwanted noise out. And it's a pretty solid powertrain. And we'll see how it does in the acceleration department 
and the test drive. So make sure you stay with us for that. Okay, so cargo space in the X-T4 is pretty plentiful, despite this being the smallest Cadillac in the SUV lineup. As you can see, we have a nice wide opening and lots of room with some very nice carpeting inside. We have this cargo shade that hooks in up top and is totally removable if you'd like. We have tie downs in each corner, a little bit of storage to each side and LED lights to each side as well. Now, if you need an even more storage space, you can fold down the rear seats at a 60-40 split, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Other things back here are your 12 volt power outlet, which is pretty cool. And you can also pick up the cargo floor, and there's also some more storage around uh, in this kind of circular pattern, and underneath is your tire inflator kit. When you're done with the trunk, we have either the handle or the button. Taking our first look at the interior, we have this beautiful jet black and Oxford stone colored interior. Uh, the Oxford stone is actually this kind of darker tan color, which is very nice. We have some contrast stitching up with the jet black portions, some nice bright work, and also a nice thin uh, strip of wood that shows up very nicely in the sunlight. We have a small storage pocket on the rear door, and we have seven speakers in this car, which comes standard. Um, you can, of course, get a 14-speaker AKG audio system if you'd like. Here are the rear seats. Pretty nice quality to them. We have some nice stitching that kind of blends in. You can also press this button at the side of the headrest to get more visibility out the back. We have the Cadillac crest and also this button right here, or switch I should say, to lower down the rear seat and that will fold them down flat and the uh, kind of seat matches up with the cargo area, so it does fold flat. We also have the armrest here, which you can fold down with some cup holders. And I'll hop in quickly so that you could see how much room there is back here. Now I am five foot 10 and I adjusted the driving position uh, to a pretty comfortable spot for myself. And as you can see, I have just a couple of, maybe about an inch of leg room and probably about the same in headroom. So for a person of my size, it's not too bad back here. Also the drivetrain hump is pretty minimal so you can fit a third person back here. We have air vents, heated seats back here and some chargers. So you looks like a USB-C and a regular USB. We have LED lighting, coat hooks, and grab handles, and the panoramic sunroof is pretty large, so it continues nicely back here for the rear passengers. Okay, so the front cabin, this is the part we've all been waiting for. Let's take a look at the door panel first, since we do have some extra buttons. We, of course, have the lock-unlock buttons. We also have two-person memory for the driver's seat with an easy exit mode. We have all of our window switches, the window lockout for the rear for the children, all of our mirror controls, and we can also power fold the mirrors. Nice strip of wood and a little bit of the um, Oxford stone colored leather. Nice big storage area here and another speaker on the driver's door. And we have a spot here to put your umbrellas. And also right below that we have the uh, power trunk control so you can open it a max way a three-quarters way or just turn the power function off To the left of the dash we get a first glimpse of the giant 33 inch display on this car Which is new for 2024 on the XT4 Nice leather design too on the dashboard with the air vent and just below we have a couple of controls for both the electronic parking brake and the gauge dimmer we can also see on the bottom of the steering column, you have a release there for the tilt telescoping steering wheel. Our pedals down below and the hood release right up top. We have our side sill that is Cadillac branded. And take a look at the seats up front. Very, very nice. Lots of functionalities to them too and a beautiful design. They are heated, 
cooled and even massaged. So I'm not sure if there's any other car at this price point where you get a massage seat, but this one has it. And just keep in mind that $50,000 price tag. So we have all of our lumbar controls, our massage settings here, and the rest of your seating controls. Okay, so now that we're seated inside the XT4, let's take a look at the key quickly. We have the lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and panic alarm right on the key. On the flip side, you have the Cadillac emblem, and you do have a little button right here to slide out a physical key in case you need it. But, of course, there is push button start right behind the steering wheel. And let's start off the features with the steering wheel itself. We have nice leather that wraps it nice and smooth we have all of our cruise control settings over here now the cruise control on this particular car is a standard setup but you can of course get adaptive cruise control right next to it you have the heated steering wheel and a gap adjustment for the um, front collision warning right below it you have your bluetooth telephone controls and voice commands taking a walk over the airbag cover we have our uh, skipping for your different tracks also your up and down for the audio volume and a couple of different adjustments for your digital gauge cluster. Now attached to the steering wheel, we do have paddle shifters. And behind the steering wheel, we have a couple of stocks, one obviously for your turn signals, automatic high beams, and the rest of your headlights too. And on the other side, we of course have your front and rear wipers. Now we have kind of three different segments to this screen. We have kind of a smaller part over here, uh, the driver's cluster and the touch screen. So we're gonna go over um, all three of them. Pay note to this part right over here where I'm tapping and how it changes the gauge cluster. So this is kind of like your gauge setting. You could change it over to a map setting, which obviously if you have Google uh, Maps subscribed, it will pull up there as a full screen map. And then you have also have a clean uh, setup, which really just shows you the bare essentials. But if we go to the gauge one, that's the one I would usually have up. We have the date and time over here and the exterior temperature. Your tachometer right in the center we have your speedometer and your fuel gauge with the distance all empty at the bottom and right below what gear you're in and then also what's going on with the audio so pretty nice uh, setup right there now one other thing we could do with this other side screen down here is pull up your trip computer so we have trip one and trip two and then kind of just a blank screen for a nice clean look there are a few things that you can customize over here. We have either the um, sound settings or your phone settings show up over there. Uh, but basically what you see is what you get, but uh, I'm not complaining, it's a very nice looking system. Upper dash is all nice soft to the touch material and you have a speaker up here and that brings me down to the entertainment system. Let's take a look here. We'll keep it in demo mode for our first owner and we Scroll over here, we have a customizable home screen. And then we have kind of a jumblation of all your different apps. And then you have customizable shortcuts right at the bottom. We can go into a few and see what they look like. First, we have vehicle status, which will show you like things like tire pressures, um, things uh, also like your uh, maintenance reminders, and also different things, different temperatures, oil pressure, things like that. And we also have a fuel economy screen, which we can add to the uh, driver's display. We have a couple of different Google apps. This is a Google Assistant and the Play Store to download different apps to the vehicle. We also have a myriad of settings, which when you buy the car and get it home, you can kind of customize to your liking. So you can really personalize this car the way you like it. We do have a redundant control for the climate control up on the screen, although all of your climate controls are physical buttons down here. They just kind of give you the option for uh, climate through the screen or through the physical buttons. We have Wi-Fi information and your audio screen. You can kind of select your source right here, and once you press on it, uh, it will kind of show up with all of the information right here and your presets to the left. We have a Google Maps, of course, which is a subscription-based service. So you will have built-in navigation if you subscribe to Google. If not, you have wireless car CarPlay and Android Auto. Over here, you have a phone screen my Cadillac app and a couple of other Google um, apps over here. Take a look down below, we have a couple of air vents and our full climate control so we can kind of turn it on and off the whole climate control system right there. It is an automatic function so you can kind of just set the temperature, press the auto button and forget about it. 
And we have all of our different zones, so the defrost uh, at your face and at your legs. We have our uh, temperatures here for the driver and passenger, and then the fan speed in the center, AC settings, sink, and also your front and rear defrosters here. Right below we have another array of buttons. We have the heating and cooling function for both the driver and passenger seats. We have the ability to turn on and off your parking sensors and the lane keeping assist. And front and center is the um, four-way flashers. We have a storage cubby here which all lined in felt and we have a USB-C and regular USB inlet as well as a 12-volt power outlet. So lots of connections in this car. Cadillac's got you covered no matter what cable you have. Right down here is our gear selector for the 9-speed automatic transmission. We have a little unlock button right here, which I find convenient. You just press your thumb right here and straight down for drive. You can also bump it down once more to put it into a manual mode, and you can start using the paddle shifters. And we can go straight up for reverse, which brings me into the reversing camera. Now our 360 degrees camera system is available, however this one is not equipped with it, just, just has the backup camera, but you can toggle on and off your uh, guidance lines as well as your parking sensors. And once you're done, you can just press the P at the top of the shifter for park. We have some cup holders over here and a couple of knobs and shortcut buttons for your screen. So you not only have a touch screen, you can also control it with this larger knob here. And that will adjust things on the screen, which is very nice. And the smaller knob is a redundant um, volume knob. A couple of shortcuts do for the media and phone, navigation, vehicle information, a back and home. And then a couple more buttons over here. You can turn on and off your traction control, auto start stop, and you can also press and get different driving modes. So as you can see, we have an all-wheel drive mode. We also have a sport mode, off-road and just a regular touring mode. Take a look at that sport mode though. Let's see if we could change it back over to sport. It'll kind of adjust your driver's information display there, so that's pretty cool. Nice center console lid here. It's pretty soft to the touch. Lift that up. You have a good amount of storage with a little tray you can remove, another 12 volt power outlet, and a little spot to kind of slide your phone in. Now, optional is a wireless charging pad and it'll be located right here. Of course, this vehicle does not have it. Passenger area is very pleasing to the eye with this kind of brushed aluminum look. We have some dark gloss accents and this really nice tan section of leather here with this really neat pattern for stitching and the Cadillac emblem in the bright work up there. It's a very nice looking passenger area. And we can open up the lockable glove box. You can see it's a kind of bin style and there's plenty of room in there. A full black headliner to the car and we can fold down the um, visors and you can see we have a mirror and lights. Taking a look at the upper stack, we have three buttons here to control the sunshade, sunshade and sunroof. So the central button will open up the sunshade. We can use this button here to tilt the glass portion or slide the glass portion open. We also have one, two, three for your garage door home links and a place to put your sunglasses as well as your tap illumination and your OnStar and SOS controls. Now the sunshade is opened up. It really opens up this interior nicely. Um, lets lots of light in. And one last thing we talk about is this mirror. Now it is auto dimming and frameless, which is very nice. And that pretty much does it for all the features of the new X-T4. Let's get it out on the road and see how it drives. All right, here we are driving the new X-T4. Now, throughout this test drive, we're going to take it in a couple different scenarios. Um, first things first, we'll get it out of the neighborhood here. We'll see how it performs with these winding and very uh, hilly roads here. Uh, 
And then we'll get an acceleration test now. It does have a turbocharged four cylinder under the hood. So we should see some pretty good results um, with the acceleration test. What I like to do is uh, an evaluation of how fast we get up to speed and how fast the transmission reacts. With that being said, we'll get the car up to 25 miles an hour like it is now, and then we'll punch the throttle and see how fast we can get up to speed. That's how we're gonna do the acceleration test. We'll also get it out onto a nice open road to see how it is at you know speeds of 50, you know, 45, 50 miles an hour. Kind of see what the noise levels are and things like that. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the drive. Initial impressions on the XT4 is it's a very quiet car, especially at these speeds, just going around your neighborhood. Um, it does seem to ride a little bit on the more firm side, but I think that's only due to the 20-inch wheels. If you get either the 18 or 19-inch wheels that come on this car, I think you'll be a lot more pleased um, with the ride quality. We're going to take a right onto this road here, and if we have a break in traffic, we will try the acceleration test. I think we might be good right now so let's hit 25 and we're gonna mash the throttle and see what happens <laughs> so not too bad the xt4 gets up to speed pretty good and the brakes are also pretty nice too to slow us back down um, a little bit of a spongy feeling to the brakes but just something i'm noticing um, one more thing is I did not switch it into all-wheel drive mode, so when we were accelerating that is using purely front-wheel drive, and uh, you could tell that the, the front wheels are fighting for traction a little bit, although it did pretty well. You can almost feel the steering wheel pull a little bit, uh, just trying to get those front wheels to hook up. But plenty of power, and the 9-speed automatic did a pretty good job of uh, getting us in the right gear and into the power band. And the turbocharger took off and away we went. So not too bad there in the acceleration department. And even at wide open throttle, the engine is nice and quiet. You know, sometimes with a four cylinder, you get kind of a, a buzzy engine noise, but this is nice and quiet. I'm gonna turn the lane keeping assist on. It's a pretty cool visual down there if you could see it at your angle. Um, but the lane markers will turn green when it's active. And that's how you know um, that uh, your steering wheel will be assisted. Now, looks like we have some oncoming traffic. This is getting towards, well, we're in the middle of rush hour, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to demonstrate it for you. Uh, but. We'll see if we can. This might be a good opportunity here if it keeps the lines. Let's see. Yep, okay. So I just started a veer on my lane. The lane markers turned uh, like a yellow orange color, and uh, the steering will gently correct uh, and put you into your lane. It's not any sort of like jarring system or anything that'll that'll startle you, but it's a nice um, gentle steer back into your lane. And it looks like we have some traffic here, so we'll skip right through it and get to the get back to driving. Okay, and away we go. We have a pretty tight turn to make here, and uh, no issues there with the turning circle. We have a nice short wheelbase on the smallest Cadillac SUV, and uh, around the corner we go. And this is the nice straight road here that uh, I was talking about before. And we'll hopefully get it up to 45, 50 miles an hour so I can relay my thoughts and what I'm hearing going on here. And really pretty impressive noise insulation here. The only real thing I'm hearing is the tire noise. Um, hearing a quite hum, a, a small hum of the, the tire noise and um, the uh, the wind noise is almost non-existent. You know, there's really no noise coming from the mirrors or even oncoming traffic at that, so that's pretty impressive. 
the sound tuning to this car is pretty good. One more thing worth mentioning is these seats are very nice and comfortable. I mean, I've really only been sitting in this car for about half an hour or so, uh, but no issues there at all. Lots of cusp ability and uh, the ability to massage is a huge plus, especially in this class of car. Um, I really can't think of another competitor that has any sort of massaging on the seat, so that's pretty impressive, um, especially at the $50,000 price point that this particular car is. So definitely pretty comfortable seats there. Let's see how the pickup is. Not too bad with the passing power, just putting the Putting it down about half throttle of the uh, the gas there and pretty good pretty good passing power there the transmission could be a little bit quicker um, the nine speed but um, it's it's definitely adequate I guess this thing could be pretty fun around the corners it does seem to compose itself pretty well um, you know around the bends it doesn't do anything funny um, it's definitely a pretty planted car um, obviously a little bit of body roll but that's to be expected this is definitely more of a luxury tune vehicle than uh, than for sportiness so and it looks like that's a wrap for this video. I hope you have enjoyed all the features and the driving portion of the new 2024 Cadillac XT4 just as much as I have. And I also hope you stick with us here at Tide Drives for more videos just like this one.